Morning everybody, it's a self-proclaimed YouTube daddy here, just giving you an update of what's going on today. And if you saw yesterday's video, you'll realise that I didn't quite make New Orleans yesterday because of the, tra the traffic. But now it's in the daytime, I'll show you where I am. If you see that sign there, it says Baton Rouge one way and New Orleans the other way. We're about an hour away from New Orleans. So not that long to go. Just got up, having a quick cigarette and a coffee, living the American dream like normal, have a bit of breakfast, and then I will get in the car and jump onto that motorway there, which is the I-10 going eastbound to New Orleans. So I'll show you where I am, because obviously you saw the video last night and it was a bit dark. So I'm here at the Quality Inn, always a good hotel. So if you ever come to America, I would definitely recommend the Quality Inn because they're reasonably priced. There's a me, two adults, a decent room, always in a decent area, and uh, for less than a hundred dollars, which is what about seventy quid, seventy seventy five quid, depending on the exchange rate. And the reason I like staying on these uh, complexes, which are just off the motorway, is you don't get permanence. So the one thing to look out for if you go to America and you're stopping in hotels like I do, going between hotel from hotel, never go to ones which have got permanent people in, because that's the ones that the police turn up to and you have all the drug problems and the fighting problems and the dysfunctional people who are living in motels. So that's why I always like to stay on these retail parks, because these type of hotels genuinely have uh, lorry drivers and people who are driving between cities staying so it's just one night so they're cheap they're clean decent breakfast great access to the motorway and you never get any permanence on them so that's just a bit of advice if you do decide to come to america always try to stay on the ones on the side of motorways like for instance today i'll be staying uh, i'll be going to new orleans but when i stay when i won't stay inside new orleans itself I will stay just on the outside on the motorway and then drive in during the day because it's just worked out cheaper and a lot safer. Anyway, that's enough of the uh, travel advice. I'll just show you exactly where I am. There's that crab place. I don't think you can see it from the sun. I say it's 8 o'clock in the morning here. It's already quite warm. I've seen the weather back in Blackpool. It is awful, isn't it? It is absolutely awful. So we are, we'll just have a quick walk around. Oh. American fire hydrant. So American. Oh. There's rubber duck going past with his going to his convoy. I'll just walk around and show you where the exactly where we are. Everyone seems to have trucks in this uh, in this place. Show you across the road. So what we've got, we've got a Starbucks, American Starbucks are far better than English ones. To start with, they're a lot cheaper because obviously there's a lot more of them, and the coffee just tastes better. So I don't mind American Starbucks, but I'm not overly keen on British ones. As I say, there's the motorway there that I'll be joining onto very shortly. There's the petrol there, so what's that saying? 289, now that's quite expensive to be fair. I wouldn't get petrol from there. That's probably about 50 cents more expensive than it should be. Oh, nice old type American lobby. Oh, and the other one, there's two of them, that's a convoy. We got a great big convoy, getting through the night. There's a guy who's got his speedboat on the back. Uh, a petrol tank, I'm assuming. So there we go. There's Popeyes over there. See your Popeyes over there. There's a petrol station. There's not a lot, not a lot else to say about where I am. Right, I'll see you later, guys. As I say, I'm off to uh, New Orleans. I'll be doing plenty of video today. We should be in New Orleans at about 10 o'clock American time. As I said, it's just gone a little past 8 o'clock here. 
So uh, get myself ready, get all packed up, jump in the car about 9 o'clock, hopefully get there for about 10. As I say, I'm hoping the traffic nothing like yesterday. The traffic was absolutely awful yesterday. Right, great talking to you guys, and I'll see you later. Don't forget if you like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you later, guys.